every single week hasn't it seemed like it's been so much we have to get through so i feel like it is our duty here at fox soul to uplift the people with some fun conversations some good tea so y'all ready yeah, yeah. that's so funny that you know what while we're in COVID and everything's supposed to be so slowed down it's a lot going on really you know yeah. a lot going on now i don't know who got to uh, catch the bt awards but amanda seals kicked things off as she's the uh, first host of the 2020 virtual bt award show yesterday uh, the highlights included Megan Thee Stallion winning Best Female Hip Hop Artist, Lizzo winning Best Female R&B Artist, and Beyonce winning the Humanitarian Award. What were your favorite moments from the show, ladies? Any highlights for those of you got who got to watch? I Black did Black see Black Megan Thee Stallion. I, I saw her. Um, and then I know that Tiana Taylor won uh, Director of the Year, mm -hmm. right? Uh, that's amazing. That's good because she's doing everything you know across the board and that's the way to use your platform you know so you know the best body out there like and this woman yeah. has and and she you know what? Her look like her um album cover i think she she looked like a, a grace jones type like the yes. whole wrong uh nubian queen princess type of thing you know what i mean and she has a strong face anyway so she yeah. can pull all of that off she did that yeah she, she her body's like amazing it's like them abs it's like what but you know she's pregnant now so let's see and she's been underrated that. for so long it's nice to see her finally get her shine because she's been dope but it seemed like the industry took her. a while to catch up to recognize her because i think she's everything yeah, she's i like the black lives did you all see tiana taylor when she walked out one year and i think it was the uh it was a fashion show yes and mom walked out yeah. in that black and honey and did the <laughs> yeah, she's she was like, hit. wow, she was yeah. fabulous. Body, baby got body. So kudos and to even when she did the um the honors for uh it was the hip hop honors. I want to say it was um saluting I think Lil Kim. Lil Kim. Mm -hmm. He came out and did Lil Kim, and when I tell you she oh. was just the whole thing was just you know wrong with the baby. Be you know, I was just like, <laughs> I didn't know what it was. I was like, what is like, yeah, yeah. She, you know, how'd, it how'd it go, Lisa Ray? How'd it go? What, how'd it go? <laughs> well, I like the Black Lives Matter tribute. I thought it was dope how they recreated that fight the power. That was cold. Yeah, it was that. turning up. And um, my favorite was Rhapsody. She was snapping. Rhapsody, Nas, um, you know, Flavor Flav still hanging in there. Okay. Yeah. You, to down. you know, you had Willie, you, you had you know, you had the people, you had the people from the fight to power. I thought that was dope. And I like how, first of all, Kiki Sheard and her mama, that was lit. Um, they sang down to the floor. But I love how everything was a video. You know what I'm saying? Because they couldn't be there. So stuff was like videos, like a full blown video. Like Megan Thee Stallion was like a whole video. Yes. Oh, what that's that's her husband? She, she gave a powerful hey, performance. That young. performance was off the chain, honey. Yeah. Young, chicken, and black. Yeah, I think B yeah. took it a great job. Also, Lil Wayne did a tribute for Kobe Bryant, right? Yeah, yeah. That was, it seems like it was very successful. Do you think BET should consider having their virtual awards moving forward, or go back to people being? I miss being there. Like I hate well, it. Yeah, we we yeah. need to see that because that energy is nothing like yeah. that energy, and having people really yeah. respond to your energy and be able to appreciate you with the claps. You know what I mean? So I mean, they, had a, they did an awesome job doing it virtually. Yeah, they, they, did. they did. Well, you know, for the BET awards, honey, it's all about the red carpet. Are you kidding me? That's all true. of us are always waiting for the outfits. Now, you know, we missed the red carpet. Who walked in to see we would have a whole, we would have a, a, a have and a have not session for fashion. You yes. know what I mean? Yes. Because yes. you know, I some people that, I, I wait for that. you'd be like, hmm. A lot of people say, yeah. That's what real talk. I wait for those. I wait for the, that red carpet. Like what the red carpet. The next one is because everyone's gonna want to go, and you already know BT does be trying to every year to wait for the last minute to confirm your ticket. They be like, we don't know. In fact, they wait till the last minute for everybody. I'm like, really? And you get there, you're like, hold up. How all these people get their tickets before and me? Who are these people? <laughs> and what they sit and why I'm not sitting one, one year I had to sit down because you know how they rush it and they have the people that's going to be you know the audience participating people the fillers the seat fillers, fillers, fillers. what we call it. and I, I when I sat down I was kind of looking calculating like <laughs> how I get here and they and so I, I had two seat fillers I'd be like that I said excuse me can y'all come back here I need to get up there <laughs> <laughs> have y'all ever had any embarrassing right. because one Did time you we go to the BET Awards and move your seat? <laughs> yeah. Oh, exactly. Oh, a couple years ago, I okay, I think it was with my boyfriend last year. 
Oh, oh, years ago we went, right? And we, our seats were like, eh, right? So we uh -huh. had some seat filler seats, right? <laughs> and we were like, okay, we like the fourth row. We good right here, fourth row, middle. And we're, you have anxiety the whole time because the person who seats those really are, it could be a seat fillers or it could be a celebrity that's a bigger deal than you. So we were sitting in our seats and then we see Deborah Lee like come through, you know, Deborah Lee, president of BET. The president of BET. And we're like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, don't let these be her seats. And then she sat right behind us. We were like, oh. But I felt like you would have had to get up, girl. You would have had to get up. You, Grace, get up. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, but um, Amanda, I think her opening outfit that she was in and her delivery, um, I think she made an excellent host. I really do. She did a really good job. I mm -hmm. thought her outfit was fitting. Um, and she seemed like she had a good time and she, you know, did a great time hosting it virtually with no audience there, which is hard to do. Yeah. Like you said, we all, when you're hosting something, you're feeding off of the audience energy. So, you know, cause usually the host, they get to come out. Remember Monique, she danced when she did right. Beyonce. I mean, the BET awards are epic. I remember Will and Jada coming in on a Ooh, carry. To my face. Yeah, right. You know what I mean? I'm yeah. hoping for this year, you know, a lot of times, these award shows have a hard time getting the bigger celebrities once they get to a certain level. I'm hoping next year there'll be a greater appreciation and everyone that, you know, gets nominated, people show up. Cause these are yeah. our awards shows. And don't just go to the Grammys, go to the BET Awards. Cause when the Grammys forget about you, the BET Awards will not. And that's something we have got to start supporting them. And you know what's so funny when you say that, it's like you would think that the examples before us, that we would learn from that because mm -hmm. you're absolutely right. But what I like about Beyonce, is that she always come back. She has always come back. I like that. Not yeah. only did Beyonce come back, Michelle Obama presented her award to her. She had the forever first lady saying, my girl. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then she put her video, her visuals out. I was like, Beyonce. And then she, when she speaks, she's just ethereal. It's like, yes, queen. She looks <laughs> great. Oh, cool. Excellent. She looks amazing. Chloe she and Haley killed it as well. They they work with Beyonce, and they they those girls are amazing. So, yeah. kudos to Jesse, so Tony Orlando, and the whole BET team because they they actually did it. And Amanda Seals, we salute you. You know, this was probably the blackest BET award, and it's like it had a different meaning this year. Yeah, yeah. Now, from blackest to whitest, the second time in a week, Donald Trump seems he expects Joe Biden to beat him in the elections. Trump told Fox News, Sean Hannity, Biden is going to be president because some people don't love me. Are you shocked he's calling the race so soon? No, and he should, because he's not going to be president and he is going to lose. So good. Bow out gracefully and have several seats and step aside. Thank you. We've been waiting for this confession for four years. Yeah, I don't think that he thought it was going to really be this bad because I think that when he put help put out the COVID, meaning put it out there, that it got out of control and that he wasn't able to control it in a way in which he would make us think that he, he, he saved us. You know what I mean? Because the save would have got us like, oh, he saved us. Let's vote for him. But that didn't happen. It backfired. So I, I do believe that, you know, him, go ahead, Viv. What were you going to say? Lisa Hamilton's going to say, God don't like ugly and ain't too crazy about half-ass cute. Okay? And that's how Donald Trump... That is not asked. how the saying goes, but I know what you mean. <laughs> just making stuff up. Um, just <laughs> check it out. He thought, oh, I got the economy popping. Oh, I'm good. We looking good. Right. Ain't nobody burning them, dropping off. Everybody jumping off. Oh, I'm going to kill this. And then God said, ah, pump your brakes, bro. Here comes the pandemic, which you ignored because you were on your victory tour for your impeachment. You didn't get impeached. And then... Then behind that, you know, it's like he George got the, and then the the rates came out, and then everyone started protesting George Floyd. It was just what needed to expose him because we America's better than this. Yes, and I believe that back. all the things that have happened to take him to the final end of his presidency, which he should have got impeached and not been there. Absolutely. Um, well, he was you know, impeached this way. He is impeached. He, he, he was impeached. He was impeached in the House, no. not the Senate. So well, he's, he, so he isn't, he isn't impeached president, but because he didn't impeach him, he still he still gets to sit in the presidency. And the folks that and for the folks that may not know, impeached doesn't mean he's thrown out. It means he's brought up on charges, yeah. and that's right. what 
So he was brought up on charges, but he wasn't found guilty by the House of Rep by the Senate, but he was found guilty by the House of Representatives. Yeah. So well, they both well, wait. Okay. Go ahead. No, no. No, because I thought that um because the how the, they when they did the vote and it was on the floor, correct me if I'm wrong, he he was impeached, but the Senate saved him. So he wasn't but both houses didn't vote, like they didn't vote to convict yeah. him. Right. Yeah. He, he, right. Well right. he got he got impeached. He got impeached in the house. But in order to be thrown out of the seat, you have to be impeached in the yes, House exactly. and the Senate. Like okay, um, yes, President Senate. Clinton was also oh. impeached in one in in one part of the Congress as well. But he was able to, you know, finish out his presidency because he wasn't impeached in the other. So let's uh, in the if more if we had more Democratic senators, we, yeah. we didn't have to it was all Republican. Exactly. We would have watched and paying attention. We would have the the House and the Senate in our in our favor, and it would have been a done deal. Exactly. But, yeah. The last election, we lost the Senate. The Democrats did. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, hopefully, so this election. I know he did. He's got a piece on that record. Yeah. So hopefully, this election, when we vote, because we all need to vote, we right. can get more Democrats in the Senate as well, and this will help us to be able to get some of the policies that we need to pass passed because that's what's been blocking a lot of the stuff is the fact that the Senate is filled with Republicans and they they, they shoot down everything that the, you know, the House of Representatives tries to present for. But can we talk about uh, uh, the Supreme Court? The Supreme Court has done very well this week with pride. Um, didn't they also do something with uh, abortion this week that they've been going different ways and people have been surprised by some of the rulings in this with the Supreme Court? Because mm -hmm. they have a Republican leaning uh, Supreme Court and like there's one justice that has been surprising. It's like, oh, yeah, you're right. I think it's Justice Roberts that's been kind of, yeah. All right, we gotta take a break. We're gonna make sure we, we get here and uh, do he a quick. Did that's all we know. <laughs> We had to do our politics. We had to get our politics out the way. Right. <laughs> Reason why we need to vote. So, on Fox, vote, 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 vote. vote.